Welcome to our online class. This is Ma'am Teresa Duval. Join me to enjoy mathematics. Are you ready to learn about the geometric sequence? Let's go. What is geometric sequence? It is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant. As you can see, multiply. Let us see the example of the geometric sequence. So that becomes 3 times 2 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, and 24 times 2 is equal to 48. Common ratio is the value we multiply by each term in a geometric sequence. As you can see, the common ratio is equal to 2 because that is the number to be multiplied from first up to the last geometric sequence. How to get the common ratio? It can be determined by dividing any term in the sequence by the term that precedes it. In the example, 3, 6, 12, 24, and 48. 6 divided by 3 equals 2. 12 divided by 6, the answer is 2. 24 divided by 12, the answer is equal to 2. 48 divided by 24 equals 2. So the common ratio of this geometric sequence is equal to 2. Geometric sequence finite or infinite. Instruction, determine the geometric sequence whether the given sequence is finite or infinite. Question number one. Is this an example of the finite or infinite geometric sequence? Any idea? Correct. The answer is finite. How about number 2? Finite or infinite? Negative 5, 15, negative 45, 135, and the 3 dots. Correct. The answer is equal to infinite because we have the first term. But the last term is continuous. So, ibig sabihin nun, walang katapusan after 135. How about number 3? In the sequence 2, 12, 72, 432, and the 3 dots. Correct. The answer is also infinite. Is this an example of finite or infinite? The 3 dots, 3, 6, 12, and 24. Correct. The answer is infinite. Because before 3, Walang pasimula. Hindi mo alam kung kailan magsisimula. So that is infinite. How about number 5? Finite or infinite? Correct. The answer is infinite. Because we have the first term. We have the common ratio. But we have no last term. How about number 6 in the geometric sequence 4, 20, 100, and the 3 dots? 500. Finite or infinite? Correct. Finite. Because we have the first term and the last term. Question number 7. Is this a finite or infinite? 
the first term is negative 4, the common ratio is 6, the number of terms is 9. Correct, that is finite. We have the first term and we have the number of terms that is equal to 9. It means you can solve, you will get the last term because of the number of terms. How about number 8? Finite or infinite geometric sequence? Correct. The answer is equal to infinite. How about number 9? Finite or infinite? Correct. The answer is equal to finite. How about number 10? In the geometric sequence 1, 2, 4, and the 3 dots, and n equal to 6. Finite or infinite? Correct, finite. Because you have the first term and you have the last term because n is equal to 6. Let us familiarize about geometric sequence. Question number one. Find the fifth term if the first term is 5 and the common ratio is equal to 2. Let us identify the fifth term. The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. We need to substitute all the given to the formula so that becomes a sub 5 is equal to the first term that is 5 times the common ratio is 2 and is 5 minus 1. We need to subtract the exponent so that becomes 5 minus 1 is 4. Copy 5, copy positive 2. We need to expand 2 to the 4th. It is not 2 times 4 but 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So if we multiply that becomes 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8 times 2 is 16. So, 16 times 5, the answer is equal to 80. Question number 2. Find the seventh term of the geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, and 54. The first term is 2. The common ratio 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to 3. And the number of terms... That is equal to 7. Let us identify the 7th term of the geometric sequence. Formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. We need to substitute all the given to the formula. So that becomes a sub 7 is equal to 2. First term is 2. The common ratio is 3. Again, n is 7 minus 1. So, subtract the exponent, that becomes 7 minus 1 is 6. We need to expand 3 to the 6. So, that becomes 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So, 3, 6. So, if you multiply those, that is 2 times 729. Because 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. 27 times 3 is 81. 81 times 3 is 243. 243 times 3, that is 729. And then if we multiply 729 times 2, the answer is equal to 1,458. The first term of the geometric sequence is 3, and the common ratio is 2. What is the 8th term? So, let us identify. The first term is 3. The common ratio is 2. The number of terms is equal to 8. What is the formula to be used? a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. We need to substitute all the given to the formula. So, that becomes a sub 8 is equals to the first term 3. The common ratio 2 and the number of terms 8 minus 1. Subtract the exponent so that becomes copy 3, copy positive 2, 8 minus 1 that is equal to 7. And then let us expand the 2 to the 7. So that becomes copy 3, 
we need to write 2 7 times. And then we multiply. So 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 16 times 2 is 32. 32 times 2 is 64. 64 times 2 is equal to 128. It means 2 to the 7 is equal to 128. And what is the value now of the 8 term? So 128 times 3, the answer is equal to 384. Let us solve regarding the geometric sequence. Question number one. Find the seventh term of the geometric sequence 3, 9, 27, 81. A is 2,278. B, 2,287. C, 2,178. And D, 2,187. What do you think is the seventh term of the geometric sequence? Any idea? Correct. The answer is equal to 2,187. How about number 2? What is the sixth term of the geometric sequence 6, 12, and 24? Any idea? A, 193. B, 182. C, 192. D, 172. Correct. Your solution is correct. The answer is equal to 192. Question number 3. Determine the 8th term of the sequence. 8, 16, 32, and 64. What is the 8th term? A, 512. B, 256. C, 128. D, 1024. What is your solution? Correct. The answer is equal to 512. Determine the common ratio of the given geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, and 16. What is the common ratio? Correct. The answer is equal to positive 2. Because 4 divided by 2, the answer is equal to How about number 2? 3, 12, 48, 196. What is the common ratio? Correct. The answer is equal to positive 4. Because 12 divided by 3, the answer is equal to 4. How about number 3? What is the common ratio of the geometric sequence 5, 15, and 45? Any idea? Correct. The answer is equal to positive 3 because 15 divided by 5 is 3 or 45 divided by 15 that is also equal to 3. How about number 4 in the sequence 36, 12, and 3? What is the common ratio? Correct. The answer is equal to 1 third. Last, how about number 5? 72, 36, 18, and 9. What is the common ratio? Correct. The answer is equal to 1 half. Because 9 divided by 18, lowest term, the answer is equal to 1 half. Or 18 divided by 36, the answer is also equal to 1 half. Or 36 divided by 72, get the lowest term, that becomes 1 over 2. Let us recall what you have learned. Geometric sequence, it is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant. So we need to multiply from first up to the last term. The example of the geometric sequence is 1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 
8 times 2, the answer is equal to 16. So the geometric sequence is 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. Common ratio, the value we multiply by each term in a geometric sequence. So the common ratio in this sequence is 2. How to get the common ratio? It can be determined by dividing any term in the sequence by the term that precedes it. So the common ratio is equal to 2 because 2 divided by 1 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 8 divided by 4 is 2, 16 divided by 8, the answer is equal to Any question about the geometric sequence? I hope you learn a lot. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Teresa Tubal. Thank you so much.